always remember that no matter how glorifying and convincing a lie or falsehood may appear to be, it will eventually lead you to pain and misery. Let me share a short illustrative uh, story on, on, on this with all of you. One night, four college kids stayed out late, partying and having you know, good time. They paid no mind to the test they had scheduled for the next day. And obviously they did not study. In the morning, they hatched a plan to get out of taking their test. They covered themselves with grease and dirt and went to the college dean's office. Once there, they said they had been to a wedding uh, the previous night and, and on the way back, uh, they got a flat tire. They got a flat tire and had to push the car back to the campus. The dean listened to their tale of despair, agony and calamity, if I may say so. He offered them a retest three days later and they were very happy to accept that offer that time. When the test day arrived, they went to the, to the dean. The dean put them all in the separate rooms for, for, the, for the test or for the retest. They were fine with, with this since they had all studied very hard in the last three days. Then they saw the test paper. It had surprisingly only two questions of total 100 marks. Question one being, what is your name? It was for two marks. And the second question being, which one of the four tires got burst three days back? Which one of the four tires got burst three days back. And this was, this question was for 98 marks. Now, what is the takeaway? No matter how behind or how dim truth may appear, it will eventually prevail over a lie. Truth always prevails. Remember that.